I'm Seka. Loki's gonna join us today. I have one more unboxing video. Last time it was the Prima Confections Pastel Palette. This week it is the Prima Confections Vintage Palette. I opened it yesterday. I couldn't wait. I broke the little seal at the top, but I wanted to uh, experience this one with you guys as well. Hopefully this video is a little shorter. See other cats in the background. This is just classic broom closet. I'm just gonna leave it in. Oh, but before we get into this, check out my shirt. I made it. I don't know if many of you know, but I ride motorcycle and I made this shirt. I'm freezing. I have the heater under my desk. I had that heater on back there. I had my blanket and I had my husband's flannel on too. It's so cold. Oh, then. Hi. There's the other one. I found him. You gonna go with your brothers? There you go. They're so cute. The last video, I filled out the little palette card that they gave me, as well as putting it in my watercolor journal. I think I'm gonna just do the art card off camera this time. Oh, you're gonna knock it all down. I'll include the names of the colors. There are 12 in here and the last video I did, I missed an opportunity for kind of a cool design. So I'm going to be just copying the layout of the palette card they give me into my watercolor journal. So it kind of, you get the best of both worlds. So this palette comes from Prima Art, as I think I've mentioned, and it does come with 12 colors like the other one did. In the background is the Pastel Dreams, which I've already done an unboxing of. You can see that in the little icon in the corner. And to tell you the truth, I think I'm more excited about this one. It has a little more of a vintagey feel. So the same black case, same sticker on the front, though it is a different color. So just like with the Pastel Dreams, you get a little palette card. This one is two-sided. So I'm just gonna recreate this in my watercolor journal. And it looks as though there is room in this one for an empty palette, but we'll test it out just to be safe. So it looks like we have Periwinkle, Sage, Golden Glow, Terracotta, Suede, Stone Gray, Breezy, Soft Lilac. There's a Lilac in the other one too. Charcoal, Dark Rose, Apple Blossom, and Dusky Mauve. So again, I'm gonna test out to see if like the Dusty Mauve and the Lilac are anything similar to the ones that I already have. that I moved over here to my drafting table. I hope the reflection on the glass isn't too bad, but I needed more space. So as you can see, I just copied that little palette paper that is included in the box right onto my watercolor journal. But something interesting that I noticed was that under each name, they also include the pigment code, but under that, they include the light fastness rating. So their rating is from one to three. Light fastness is how much the color will alter um, being exposed to long periods of light. That may mean it could 
lighten, it could gray, or it could just disappear altogether. So it looks like most of them are rated threes, which is really good. Periwinkle is rated one, Terracotta and Breezy are rated two, so that means that exposing them to um, light for a long time could damage them. So let's start with our top row first. I did include our empty palette pan in here just so they would stop kind of shifting around. Our first color is in fact periwinkle, so I don't want to leave this exposed to anything without um, having some kind of sealer on it or some kind of protection. I don't know if these are so much vintage colors as they are giving me really cottage core vibes. Now this one I think I'm going to test against one of my other yellows that I have. Now in the last unboxing and testing I did, the colors that I thought would be similar to the ones I had ended up being way more vibrant, which was awesome. Um, but that could again be just because the, the palette I was using is dirty. This is Terracotta. This is the one that's rated a two out of three for the light fastness. This next one is suede. I think I'm gonna reorder these. I don't like the gray and the black being in two different spots. So I'm just gonna go back over these one more time just so you can see, because they are very, very light. I don't think I need to go over the stone gray. So that's our first row. And our second row is breezy, soft lilac, charcoal, dark rose, apple blossom, and dusty mauve. I think this breezy was also the one that was rated a two out of three. Now there is a soft lilac in the other Prima palette that I have, so we're gonna test this one out also. That stone gray ended up turning a really beautiful brown. Charcoal looks quite black to me, so we'll see when it dries. They tend to be a little more um, surprising after they dry. Just like in the Pastel Dreams, a lot of these are very translucent. They are watercolors, I understand, but you do have to really load your brush up with pigment for some of these. Okay, I'm going to do this guy real quick. There you go. Honestly, honestly, I think my favorite color in here is the stone gray. That's such a beautiful color. And the golden glow and the suede. Very, very lovely. Now, as I said, I wanted to try some of these against um, the other <laughs> paint colors that have a similar name. So in the Pastel Dreams, there's Lilac Rain. This one has Soft Lilac. So, but as you can see, they are quite different, but I think it'll be fun to just put both of them on a page to try them side by side.
The other one I wanted to try was the Golden Glow. And that one, just because it's similar to the yellow ochre that I have. My yellow ochre is definitely a lot brighter. The Golden Glow is more of a khaki colored compared to the yellow ochre that I have. And I think the mauve is the only other thing that I would have something similar to. So here's the dusty mauve. And, oh, no comparison, even just looking at it, this one is much more vibrant. Lastly, that charcoal. That's kind of a letdown because it's definitely just very dark black. So we're gonna try that out against the black that I have. I'm holding my other palette in my hand. Here's my dark black. As you can see, their black and my black are very similar. If anything, my black has a bit more brown in it, but that's probably because I've mixed other colors in there at one point. I cannot wait to use these. This is the last unboxing for a while. That was a splurge between the Pastel Dreams and this vintage pastel palette. I'm done for a little while, so hopefully uh, Broom Closet's gonna crank out some really cool stuff with these. Thanks again for joining me here in the Broom Closet. I am having a lot of fun doing these videos again. I'm really trying to give you one a week. I can't commit to that right now. But uh, doing some unboxings, doing some tutorials is just something different. But these aren't something I'm always gonna do. I hope to keep going with the Book of Shadows pages and or Sabbath projects. We just had Imbolc earlier this week. This is gonna come out probably three weeks after that. Um, and I'm excited to get some seeds in the ground and um, get those going. So this channel might turn into a gardening channel at some point come this summer. Right now I'm just trying to stay warm and inspired and healthy and I hope you are as well. Thanks again for joining me in the broom closet. We'll talk to you soon.